Sheila Fox. And from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in 117 pounds, baby face Nelly. Hello, everyone. I'm Ken Resnick at Ringside and providing excellent color commentary. It's Kurt Von Schneider. My broadcast partner. And, Kurt, there's no question, some of the finest women wrestlers around the country have been brought together for this outstanding lineup. Ken, outstanding is not the word for it. I think uh, everybody will be so impressed with what they see tonight that uh, you, uh, you can't make a mistake on what's going to happen tonight. This first match, Kurt, should provide uh, a, a great study in different wrestling styles, if you will. Of course, Sheila Fox trained more the European style. Babyface Nelly coming out of the United States, uh, a little bit different, and a lot of times the Europeans are, are more schooled, better tacticianers. Well, I think you'll be very surprised with what you see. Sheila Fox, Australian, held the Australian title for quite a number of years, is over here in the U.S. now and hitting up a big storm. And yes, it is very different to Ken, uh, the, the Australian-European style. Of course, you remember the old Australians, uh, they originally brought tag team wrestling to America. and uh, The original yeah. kangaroos. Yeah, uh, Nelly uh, from from the American School of Wrestling, and I think it's uh, it's uh, something that you'll be really surprised about. The bell. <laughs> Referee calls for the bell, and we're underway. Caught an elbow hookup. Sheila Fox backs babyface Nelly into the ropes. Referee orders the break, and Sheila breaks clean. Well, that's a surprise to me. She normally doesn't do that sort of thing, but, well, maybe she's turned over a new leaf. I find it hard to believe. We'll see what happens. A lot of times early on, both wrestlers kind of feeling each other out. And this time, Sheila Fox does not break clean. Very astute on your part, Kurt. Uh, yeah, well, she says it was an open hand, and it was a legal forearm. Referee immediately cautioning Sheila Fox. It's nice to see a referee that tries to take charge right from the outset. Yes, it is. Drop toe hold by Sheila Fox. Sheila seems to be a little quicker of the two. So. With that little hair there, yeah. right? <laughs> Ken. Once more, the hair. No, I had it about the neck. No, not the flag, the hair. Referee now, as you can see, cautioning Sheila Fox. Sheila's favorite hold at this point has been the hair. <laughs> well, Sheila's favorite hold is uh, is trying to hurt people, Ken. Arm drag takedown now, Babyface Nelly. This is really the first offensive action we've seen on the part of Babyface Nelly. I told you she'd come into her own. I mean, uh, she comes from New York, so... Well, there's a reverse Again. on the arm drag. I think Sheila sensed Babyface Nelly got a little careless. You know, it, it's so easy in that kind of hold. All you need is a fraction of a second for your opponent to release her grip, let her guard down, and Sheila capitalized very quickly. Yes. Works it around in a hammer lock. And a face lock. Try to take her down. Now takes her down. Toss there, a nice hit toss. Again, as we talked about, you can see Sheila well school now. Babyface Nelly says what's nice good for the goose is good nice for the gander. If you pull hair, I can do the exact same. Yeah, nice counter move there. And one of the things I've noticed throughout the years, the European style of wrestlers, Kurt, and both men and women seem to be more of a tactician style, almost like a chess match, thinking one, two, three holes ahead. Well, a lot of times the Americans, more of a high-flying, just kind of fast-reacting style. Yes. Yes, you're definitely right. Uh, it's a situation of of trying to work out what they're going to do a few moves ahead. You're definitely right there. Well, she Sheila rolls over there. and picked up a count of one. Early on in the match. Well, Sheila was going for a back body drop. I think telegraphed it a little early. Babyface Nelly sort of ducked out yeah. of the way, and they both hurt themselves there, Ken. Now Sheila comes she up with a forearm. She said, take that. Come 
We're going to do a possum stomp there. It's the old days the old we used to make coffee for our ears. <laughs> a lot of the old timers have that problem. That and the old uh, headlock. Yeah, yeah, there's a straight arm bar. Oops, drove the forearm in underneath the arm, armpit there. Drops baby face down to her knees. Another handful of hair. Step over and wheels her right over. Yeah, I bet she's into the ropes. I think the referee will break that hole there. The referee maybe hasn't seen it yet. Well, Babyface, if she runs into trouble, is in a position where all she has to do is drop, drape that leg over. But I think the referee is doing a smart move. As long as Babyface is not elected to put the foot over, she's letting the match continue. Uh, that's it. I think the referee's going to break the hole now. Down. Now, Babyface decided uh, it's sometimes discretion is a better part of valor. Or also, as I like to say, it's just better to be a live chicken than a dead duck. Well, Nellie's, yeah. Nellie's coming to her own now. She's putting a few in and... Well, using the hair. Oh, chop. Most extended action we've seen in this one so far, and then Sheila Fox comes away with a leg lock. Looks like trying to maneuver over now, does so in a step over toe hold. A lot of pressure, a little bit misleading, even though we call it a step over toll, Kurt, most of the pressure on that ankle. Yes, it is. Now she's dropping the pressure right down onto the hamstring and the knee, the knee joint, Ken. Again, you can see it looks like Babyface and Ellie trying to work her way over the ropes, but Sheila Fox right now has got her in a pretty good position. And Babyface and Ellie is able to turn her over. Nice little stretching move there. A lot of times we talk about it and we see so much of this from the Europeans, they'll concentrate on one area of their opponent's body. It seems like Sheila's decided to go for the legs and try and weaken that position in a baby face Nelly. And again, I think, Kurt, what happens when you have one part of your arsenal substantially weakened, you begin to overcompensate for it. And I think that's when you make a mental mistake. That's correct. Again, now, Firm of, form of the old wishbone. <laughs> Babyface Nelly dropped the shoulder. Referee very alert there. Picked up a count of one. Now she's got her really stretched out. A lot of pressure there, Ken. A lot of pressure. So far, the match has been pretty much mainly Sheila Fox. I think she got caught a little high, goes over for the pin. I don't really think Nellie was in a position in a lot of pain, but nothing that was going to keep her shoulders to the mat. Now, Nellie kind of goes into high gear, some very unscientific boots to the back of the neck, and introduces Sheila Fox face to the canvas in a very unflattering way. Nellie said, I've had it. I'm going to take a little bit back here now. I've taken too much for a while. I'm going to start giving it back. Turns her over, and I think trying to go for the same one. Now, knees right into that hamstring area, and follows it up with a boot. Sheila Fox now works her way to the ropes. And referee comes in. Instead of ordering the break, Babyface Nelly pulls her right back into the center of the ring. Oh, here's a pinning comes, combination now. Comes oh, right that over. It. That uh, it could have been interesting then, but uh, Sheila Fox decided that she said, no, no way. I'm not getting pinned here. Went for the eyes, and that's one way to break the hold. Match now, Kurt, I think, is, is even out a little bit. I think it's very even, Ken. I'd score it even at this stage. And Sheila Fox came up with a haymaker right to the breadbasket. You know, we talk so oftentimes at home. What that does, I mean, it, it, it's, it's not so much painful, but that shot to the breadbasket will just take all your breath just away. Just wind out of you, knocks you and, out for a second. And it, you begin concentrating on trying to get your wind back. In the meantime, it gives your opponent a chance to go for an, any kind of really hold or possible pinning combination while you're trying to suck your breath out. Yes, it is. Takes her down, spins that arm bar around. Puts pressure on the arm again with the foot underneath the uh, armpit. Standing on the hair. Notice she's well, standing on the hair there. Lifting a body, yep. but she's standing on the hair. Referee finally catches it. What? She says, I'm only trying to help her up, referee. Orders a break. You know, I think perhaps here, babyface Nelly Kurt may be making a little bit of a mistake, as we talked about earlier. Sheila Fox coming out of Australia, being trained that Australian way. Oh, pretty, look at that. Did you see that? Pretty much. She, she peeled yeah. by the hair. 
Fox says, no, 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 I'm going to, uh, I'm going to stay here at the ropes. Uh, this time, oh, slingshot. Sheila Fox takes to the air, courtesy of Babyface and all the airlines. But as I started to say, Babyface has been kind of allowing Sheila Fox to pretty much, I think, dictate the pace of this match, keeping it very close to the mat and really allowing her to go to her strengths. There's a lot of pressure there put on the neck by Nelly. She's sitting on the back, she's pulling back on the neck, and uh, Fox said, I, uh, I want to put my foot on the rope, referee. Not only that, but at the same time, while all the pressure being exerted, it really, that kind of hold gives Babyface Nelson virtually a breather. She's relaxed, catches her breath, and Sheila Fox is forced to do all the work. Well, she's putting a lot of weight on, uh, on Sheila there, so uh, while she's having a bit of a breather, Fox is taking all the weight. Nice victory roll by Babyface Nelly, but into the ropes is Sheila Fox. Referee again orders the break. Smart move by Babyface, just the positioning was a little off. Nelly said, uh, I'm going to pay you back a bit, Fox. You've been doing a bit too much for me, so I'll see what I can do to you. Chokes are right across the bottom rope. Not very scientific, not very legal, but the damage is done. Referee's checking, Fox, see if everything's OK. Referee allows the match to continue. Referee says to Nelly, she's all right. I don't think Nelly really cares. <laughs> yeah. Nelly was probably holding for the exact opposite. A submission or stoppage of the match is just as good as a pinfall now. Sheila goes right into the headlock. I think she's got her by her hair. She's, she's, actually, she's, mouth, mouth. Actually. she's bringing a smile to Babyface Nelson's face, but not exactly the way Babyface had in mind. She said, yes, ref, I've got it on the chin. Referee now checking Sheila Fox, trying to keep her out of position now. Takes her down with a roll. Gets a count of one, but Babyface is able to kick out. Into the corner, and Sheila spins her by her hair again. I think Sheila's attracted to that red hair. I think so. <laughs> one of her favorite moves is the hair hold. <laughs> Frustrated hairdresser, perhaps. Now, Sheila picks her up. The old airplane, the airplane spin. spin. Round and round she goes where she'll stop oh, only Sheila Fox knows. Takes her down from the back. Count of two. That's it. That's and a it. count of three. At 10.56 of the match, winner by an airplane spin, Sheila Fox.